Have you ever wanted to live the best years of your youth as a Japanese high school student? Being the main protagonist of a coming of age story where you make friends and be a good student, whilst killing demons and entering the hearts of corrupted adults, destroying their selfish desires and saving the world all at the same time? Welcome! to Persona 5 Royale, a turn-based combat JRPG life simulator dungeon crawling dating simulator developed by Atlas. Persona 5 Royale is known as one of the greatest JRPGs ever developed, with it being in the top 100 games on Steam, accumulating a whopping 10 out of 10 on Steam and a 95 on Metacritic, boasting a cast of colourful characters, jaw-dropping visuals and a fantastic soundtrack. <laughs> All of this being delivered in one beautiful package, with everything in this package being executed beautifully. Hey everybody, this is Mistreep here, and in today's video we are going to be doing a review of Persona 5 Royale, where I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on the game, and whether you should buy this game. You never see it come back. I firmly believe that Persona 5 Royale's story is just so good and just so beautiful. I really believe that it's best to experience it for yourself, right? Because words just can't do it justice. But of course, for review purposes, I will give a very brief spoiler-free rundown of what to expect when you jump into Persona 5 Royale. Meet your name here. He's a he's a nameless protagonist. He, you can you can call him whatever. Our protagonist has landed himself an unjust criminal record after he stops a drunk man from assaulting a woman at nighttime. Being the morale human being that our protagonist is, he tries to stop the man from assaulting this woman, only to be yelled at by Zhong Li from Genshin Impact and given false charges of assault. Damn brat! I'll sue! Now with a criminal record under his belt, our protagonist is banished into the big city, where he'll be living his one year probation. From here, our protagonist has to adapt to his new lifestyle in the big city, living with this cool old dude in a coffee shop attic. I say cool, but he treats you like, like, like trash. Everybody treats you like trash because you're a criminal and you're a bad person. That's what everyone thinks, at least. Our protagonist meets new faces and sets out on his new life and goes to his first day at high school. But wait a minute. That's not a high school. That's a freaking castle! Well, this castle is no ordinary castle, or a high school for that matter. This is just one of the many phenomenons of the metaverse, a place where thoughts and corrupted <laughs> desires from evil adults take form into physical manifestations, such as this castle. And no, it's not that metaverse. Ha ha, funny, ha! The mysteries keep on growing as our protagonist in a fit of rage and desperation awakens to some unknown mysterious power. His persona. Oh my god, that's the name of the game! Oh my god! His persona is the true self within him. And he uses this persona powered by his strong thoughts and desires to seek justice and revenge to take down the bad guys. After teaming up with fellow students who also share strong desires to change the hearts of corrupted adults, they also awaken to their own personas. And in doing so, they form their own little team. A team of students who will go out and make the world a better place by changing people's hearts and making those corrupted adults into better people. With the power of their personas, they form the Phantom Thieves. A group of teens that with the power of their personas set out on a big epic journey, cleansing society from the corrupted adults that run it. That is a very scuffed explanation of the plot of Persona 5 Royale, but it does go a lot deeper than that. And although sure, this doesn't sound like anything crazy on paper, like, oh wow, the, the bad guy's gonna get destroyed by the good guys and save the day and all the bad guys die and the good guys win. Woohoo! What I firmly believe sets Persona 5 Royale apart is the way that this story is told to the player. In combination with its fantastic soundtrack, its charming cast of characters, and its in-your-face art style, the storytelling is presented in such an incredible way. As well as that, there are plenty of twists and turns that'll make you go, oh, and oh my god, and ah, oh, and what the? Wh the game is a roller coaster of emotions, right? And there's just twists and turns that will just you, you'll never see it coming. It honestly kept me hooked, and it made me keep coming back for more, because, I mean, I want to know what's going to happen next. What, what, how are the Phantom Thieves going to get out of this one? Oh, jeez. You never see it come back. Did your years of high school suck? 
Of course they did, you can't lie to me. So why not experience those joyful years of youth in high school right here in Persona 5 Royale? One of the many core gameplay mechanics in Persona 5 Royale is the fact that the game is a life simulator role-playing game, right? Where you go about your life as a daily high school student whilst also balancing your life as a phantom thief stealing hearts on the side. But that's secret. You, you can't let anybody know. Players are given free reign on what they want to do with their free time as a student. You can use this time to go participate in a part-time job, or maybe go hit some baseballs, or go hang out with your pals after school and go to the arcade. Hanging out with your friends is actually a really important part of Persona 5 Royale, as the more you hang out with certain characters, the more cool skills and abilities you're going to unlock for that character to use in battle. You also begin to learn more about these characters and you start to form a genuine bond between them and you kind of feel like they're your real life friends. Now hold it right there Buster, I can see you hitting into the comment section, getting ready to type that comment. Oh. Why would I want to do this in a video game when I can go get a, a job in real life and hang out with my friends in real life? That sounds so boring. Stop. Hear me out. On paper, sure. This does sound a little lame. I wasn't super into it when I first started playing the game. But the more you play the game, and the more you invest your time into just learning about the world around you, and hanging out with all the characters, it becomes more and more fulfilling, and something that you actually look forward to. Because you start to feel really immersed in this world. The world of Persona 5 Royale always feels alive, with the bustling streets of Tokyo always filled with people, and there's always some conversation and some gossip you can go and listen to. The whole world is just so full of character, and it almost feels like you're in the world yourself but i'm gonna i'm gonna go into more detail on that later so um i'm getting sidetracked persona 5 is of course also primarily a dungeon crawler jrpg with turn-based combat a large portion of the game involves you and the phantom thieves exploring dungeons which are known as palaces in the game which are basically physical exaggerated forms of a corrupted person's thoughts and desires every palace is unique from one another containing its own catchy soundtrack and its own series of puzzles with the end goal being for you to get to the end of the dungeon to steal the treasure aka the corrupted desires and get out of that distorted universe. And for the most part, these dungeons are all a ton of fun. <clears throat> most of the dungeons are fun, but there are a few dungeons with questionable level design at best. Nothing a quick Google search can't fix, but still, I, I don't know what Atlas were thinking when they made the spaceship map. It's, it's the worst puzzle ever, and you will need to follow a YouTube video to complete it. These dungeons feature roaming enemies, which are known as shadows. These shadows can be obtained as personas, which you can use to level up your own persona and create more stronger and powerful personas by combining certain personas together to create a more powerful one. Think of it as like collecting Pokemon, except you collect two Pokemon and you brutally murder them to make a more stronger, powerful Pokemon. Fun! Overall, the gameplay in Persona 5 Royale is never-ending, and there is a ton of stuff here to get into. There is a ton of content here for players to sink their teeth into. You never see it come back. Firstly, the art style. It's something you're pretty much going to immediately notice when you start playing the game. It's pretty much everywhere, from the menu screen, the UI, the battle system. The art style is vibrant and impactful, characterized by its bold use of colors and its comic book-like art style that really gives the game that distinctive look and feel. The animations just look fantastic and are pure eye candy. And aside from the art style itself, the graphics in Persona 5 Royale are perfectly fine for JRPG. Nothing crazy like epic 3090 NASA computer type graphics over here, but they look perfectly fine and what you would expect from a JRPG. With 120 FPS on PC with the maxed out graphics settings, the game runs fantastically. Now, the music. Oh my god! It is fantastic, it is banging, I love the soundtrack in Persona 5 Royale. Each track is just perfect at putting you in the right mood for the right atmosphere in the right moment. For example, getting out of class after a busy day and heading down to the beef bowl shop with your pal Ryuji. Or maybe, my personal favorite, the quiet soft jazz that plays when you're making yourself a cup of coffee in the Leblanc Cafe. As you sit down and get your notes out and listen to the rain on the window as you do some study and increase your knowledge stats. With this music in conjunction with the fantastic distinctive art style of Persona 5 Royale, it just creates this beautiful 
stylish and just immersive world. You never see it come back. Persona 5 Royale features a fun, colourful cast of characters that you're gonna meet on your journey in becoming a Phantom Thief. Now, don't let appearances fool you here, because although on the surface these guys do just look like generic stereotypical high school students, they are seriously much more than that. The more I played the game, and the more I hung out with these characters and conversed with them and started to learn more about them, I started becoming more and more attached to them and actually starting to feel like I genuinely cared about about these guys. What I love about Persona 5 Royale is that every single character has their own customized free time event, where in your free time you get to learn more about these characters and hang out with them, and you support them through some sort of ordeal that they may be going through in their personal life. You quickly begin to learn more about these guys and what they do outside of being a phantom thief, and you start to feel a genuine bond and connection forming between you guys. And this is done so with the fantastic writing and storytelling. You can even date someone, if you are so inclined of course. And it's worth remembering that the more you hang out with these characters, the more you'll begin to unlock unique skills for that certain character for them to use in battle. So it's kind of a win-win situation here. You get to learn more about your favorite characters, and you get to unlock some cool skills for them to use in battle. It's also worth mentioning that these characters also stand out not in terms of personality and looks, but also in terms of the battlefield, right? Every single character specifies in their own unique special element, they specify in their own roles, so you can mix and match your party of four to build a team that suits your fancy. Overall, I loved the characters in the Persona 5 Royale cast. There was never a dull moment with these guys, and it's what made finishing Persona 5 Royale so hard, because I didn't want to leave these guys, I felt a genuine bond with them, like, no, come back guys, no! You never see it come back! Persona 5 Royale is one of the greatest video games I've ever played and left me with such an incredible experience that I would sell my left kidney to experience all over again. <laughs> With its stylish art style, its wonderful cast of characters, its banging soundtrack, and its thought-provoking and exciting plot, as well as its addictive gameplay, it's no wonder why Persona 5 Royale was regarded as one of the greatest games ever made. The game definitely isn't a perfect masterpiece, with some story pacing issues around here and there, with of course some just unneeded filler. In comparison to everything else the game has to offer, these issues are only minor, and really don't negatively impact your experience in game. I highly recommend anybody give Persona 5 Royale a try, even if you're not into JRPGs and even if you're not into anime styled games. There is something here for you to enjoy. Although the game does bear a heavy price tag due to the fact that it comes with all of Persona 5 Royale's previous DLC, even with this heavy price tag, I would still recommend the game. With the amount of content that you are given, with at least 100 hours of gameplay just ready for you to explore, all provided to you with amazing art, music, storytelling, characters, gameplay, it's hard not to recommend Persona 5 Royale. So get up, get out there, and buy this game.